YOLO, my fellow human beings, and welcome to episode 90 of The Best Plus Life. I'm your best host, Kristen, and today's topic is bread pudding, eggnog to your dessert. I don't even know what it means. Before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, share, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and please pass them on to anyone you think that they would help. With that being said, 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 our list of things to do today are our daily inspirations, which I will again be reading from my phone. Um, we're going to talk about keep on going. We're going to make some bread pudding. And I don't want you to forget that every recipe I make for you to, in front of the camera is made for the very first time. Um, recipes are not always mine, but I do try to make them my own. Um, so with that being said, if you couldn't figure it out, um, and I wasn't sure if I should put eggnog bread bread pudding or just eggnog bread pudding because it's actually we're taking the eggnog bread. That's so hard to say so many times in a row. Uh, from last week, and we're going to turn it into bread pudding. Let me tell you, first of all, it's really very good. And the sesame chicken, um, wow, I would change a couple things. It, it got dry, so I think I would cook it on low for a smidge. Before, after I flipped them over, I would turn it down to qu quite a bit. Or, and or, switch it up to uh, a bone in breast or thigh. I like thighs, so maybe you could do a mix of the two. But the flavors are there, it was really, really good. Um, and I liked that I put my um, sauce in like quite a bit earlier than she suggested. It turned into this beautiful brown color. Um, I would say season your chicken. It was kind of needed, believe it or not, the chicken itself needed salt, which in turn would have um, helped maybe I don't know. It was missing salt, I would say, and I would say something else, but I can't quit putting my finger on it. And I did add veggies at that moment too. I added the green onions and the mushrooms, and right before, um, like the half an hour before, I added my leftover broccoli in. I think it might not even been a half an hour before. Okay, don't forget about our three challenges that we got going on, besides. So pay yourself first. They say you can't pour from an empty, empty cup. So please take care of yourself first. I know it sounds selfish, but if you don't, you don't have that energy for anyone else. Um, sentimental journal, I'm happy to report. I wrote very, very minimally. Um, and I think it is going to be kind of a, um, I don't want to say chore, but like a scheduled thing where I sit down and I write where before I was feeling as though I would just write when I felt like I needed to. And I think I need to, or I realized in this period where I didn't write that I, I actually need to write every day. So, and even since then I've skipped days. <laughs> so I got to get on a schedule and I don't want that to sound like something I don't want to do. It's just that I feel like if there's nothing to report, don't report anything. I don't know. I'll get back to you on that one. And then the last one, of course, is mind over body over mind. And I mean in that in the sense that um, doing exercises with your body actually strengthens your mind. And things that you think with your, you know, um, with your brain help, help motivate your body to move. So I, I feel like they... They obviously work in tandem, or we wouldn't be able to move around. But I'm just saying there's more of a connection there than we actually realized. You know, like, the, I keep bringing up the, the um, example of walking helps with memory loss, which I have because of my fibro. But it is all also concerning because of um, dementia and Alzheimer's. And it, and it, is more pronounced like when I'm on camera right now and I'm going eh, and I can't come up with words it's not because 
I'm reading a script and I, I can't remember what I was supposed to say, it's actually because I am actually trying to come up with any word at that moment in time to, to fill a blank area. So I finally think I've come up with some sort of stutter or at least where I repeat the same word over a couple of times to help me to put together the next part. Like, what is that next word supposed to be? I don't remember. Okay, so I'll read the daily inspirations in a minute. I wanna go over the recipe with you. Um, it's just a basic bread pudding recipe, or pudding, as I like to put it, because I ran out of G's. Um, it's four cups of bread in one inch cubes, which you know how I cut things. I can't say that they're actually one inch cubes nor cubes for that matter. <laughs> a third of a cup of raisins, and that has an asterisk by it. Now, actually, the bread cube should have an asterisk by it as well, because she recommended like a stale bread or a toasted bread or something, or a dense bread, which is what we're using. But she said that she only uses um, to get four cups, four slices of white and four slices of wheat, and she likes to mix them together, which we could have done but I have plenty of bread. I actually have too much. So I might have to add extra or I'll just eat some bread. Um, so then the third a cup raisins and that has an asterisk. Four eggs, two and a half cups of milk and that has an asterisk because there's sort of a substitution. Same with the sugar should have an asterisk. There's sort of a substitution there with a half a cup. One teaspoon of vanilla and half teaspoon cinnamon. We preheat 350 and grease a 13 by nine casserole dish. And we layer the bread in the dish with raisins. Okay, our first substitution is, boom, 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 not just our bread, but our eggnog bread. And the second substitution is, it's not raisins, we're using pecans. So, the uh, nice thing about the eggnog bread and I want to show it to you guys because it turned out really beautifully, actually. And I've been letting it sit here and get kind of dried out a little bit, too. Is that it's a really beautifully textured bread. And we still have that glaze on the top. So the nice thing about it is once this all gets mixed in, that, that little bit of sugar will kind of be in there already. And... Um, so it turned out, and it's, it's, a, it's a dense bread. It's bread more like a sourdough, I would say, than like a banana or just a regular white bread. And then I chopped up some pecans. And it says the third of a cup, but I have way more bread, so I feel like I'm gonna have to come up with, um, added ingredients for the mixture itself. And then in the mixing bowl, we're gonna beat the eggs well, and then we stir in the milk, and that substitution is a mixture. I did mostly milk, because I wanna save some of my eggnog for myself, and I don't wanna over eggnog it. When the bread itself has eggnog, the frosting itself has eggnog, and now the um, milk mixture I did two cups of regular milk and a half a cup of eggnog, and I can just get the whiff of eggnog, and that's exactly what I want. And then um, the sugar itself, I did a combo of the rest of my cane sugar, and then I compensated for it with uh, the coconut palm sugar. Okay, so it's not going to be super sweet. And the reason that is, I feel like with this frosting on here, making the, um, it's going to make it sweet as it is. So I thought this would be a good way to, to add the sugar we're supposed to add, but maybe not bring out that sweetness so much, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And then we pour the mixture over the bread, making sure all bread is completely coated. If necessary, they say kind of press down on it. And then you bake for 40 to 45 minutes. And we might have to bake longer because our bread is pretty dense. And like I said, I feel like it's going to be, um, <laughs> it's going to take a while to cook. Because if you think about it, when I cooked it last week, baked it last week, 
it took a while for it to bake as well. So, um, they say to layer the bread in. I, I, I don't know if they just mean between layers of bread, put the raisins, and then put more bread. I don't know. But we're going to, I don't know, I'm getting the frosting under my fingernails. I'm going to just dump, I don't know, half of it in there. Shimmy some, well, maybe I don't have enough bread. Seems like more than four cups, doesn't it? And let's put in I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's really filling it up all that much. And I'll sprinkle a good The nice thing about the pecans is I feel like it, it's gonna add a little bit of salty. Whereas the raisins might not have done that for us as much. See, look, I don't have that much. I have one more chunk I was saving for myself to eat. <laughs> but I think I might have to chunk. Can you see my... <laughs> They're all different sizes, guys. Yeah, I'm going to chunk up that one other piece I have in the fridge. Just because... I don't know. It doesn't seem like, like enough. See, I even wrapped it. <laughs> Oh, you know what I do have? Really bad sweetness. I can't do this. Okay. This is a big haunted piece, though. That's good. Let me get my knife. I need my knife. So, you know, give me a shout out if you've tried any of my recipes. I know I don't want to call them mine because they're not really mine. But, I, like I said before, I do try to kind of make them my own. So... I hope you try them close to the way I make them. I mean, nobody's forcing you to, obviously. Yeah, I think this is exactly what we needed. Again, this bread is so dense, though, I'm still concerned I won't have enough, um, uh, what should we do with Sauce, if you will. Yeah, that's, that's what I needed, guys. Oh, sad. Sad in a good way. All right, and then I'm going to dump probably most of this. I like the little kind of dust of pecans I got, so I might save some of that for after it kind of cooks a little bit maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm Like I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. And as soon as we get... Okay, so we can set that off to the side for a second. I feel like we're done with that. Yeah. Move that up there. And then, so this was our bread bowl. Why get another bowl dirty, right? Okay, we're gonna beat the eggs. I probably should have a whisk. That seems like you should. Oh, please don't fall, you guys. Thanks so much. Okay. Well, I don't know why, but my recipes haven't been. Um, Okay, I'm finding the cage-free organic uh, eggs at the store are cheaper than the store brand, so uh, I'm getting, I got to need some of these. They're not my nieces, but a little bit of frosting there. But they are vegetarian-fed chickens. I'm not sure, um, I guess if you're vegetarian, you don't want your chickens that you don't eat. Uh, like the meat chicken, not the egg chicken. Does that make any sense? You don't want them to have eaten meat. Although in all actuality, I didn't think chickens ate meat, but I did find out they like bugs. Just recently, like the other day, my husband watches this one lady on some weird channel. Uh, I think it's a world food, considered a world food channel. I don't know. I don't watch TV that much. I really don't know how it works anymore. Um, and 
and she said she had an infestation of red ants in her uh, soil that she was going to plant vegetables in. So she took that that good clump of ant infested dirt and took it over to the chickens and they just devoured the bugs. I guess that's a good way for your chickens to get protein without feeding them meat. I guess I'm comforted by that. Alright, I put my recipe over there and now I forgot what else is supposed to go in. I think everything liquidy is supposed to go in here. And the sugar. I'm going to put it right here. It's not bugging you guys, is it? Alright, eggs. I, I mixed well. And then I got to stir in my milk nog um, combo. I'm going to get all the way to the bottom because a lot of the spices from the eggnog sunk, you know, because it's heavier than the milk. More cream-esque, which a lot, some of the recipes called for. Hers did not, it just called for milk. It's weird how just that half a cup, I guess adding it to eggs probably helped enrich that eggnog beef, kind of. All right. Then we need to put in the sugars. Okay. I'm gonna burn that up really good. I mean, you gotta think that the sugar itself is probably not gonna like really disintegrate or dissolve, if you will, until it starts baking, but. I'm, I'm aghast by how much that smells like. Okay, then the vanilla. I probably use a, a scotch more than just a teaspoon. It's not just slug, it's so much. I know, I'm weird. I can't help it. And then your half cup, half cup. Don't put a half cup cinnamon in there. That would be horrible. Half teaspoon. Big dip. All right, come on. That's the only thing I hate about adding cinnamon, like when you're making, it has a tendency to like, especially when you're making, I was gonna make French toast. But I'm like, you know what, that's more of an immediate eat kind of thing. And I wouldn't have been able to film it unless I was making the French toast while my husband was here. And I don't know if he wants to be on camera or not, but I'm going to say no for right now. Although, you know what I'm going to look at is this bowl has a nice um, spigot on <laughs> it. Which means I am transferring because I am the worst at pouring and I want to get as much of this liquid into our bread as possible. Plus I feel like that helps mix the cinnamon better. I know it's all psychological, but... Okay. Alright, stop drippy dripping. Okay. Alright, now... Let us pray, let us pray that this is enough. I guess we don't really need to pray about it, but cross our fingers, how's that? All right, and I'm gonna just do a drive-by on the bread for a minute, because I wanna make sure that I get it all and I'm just worried because, again, of the denseness of the bread that I just might not have. Especially these guys on the top. Enough liquid. Yeah, I speak Yoda ease. I think it actually would be Mandalorian. I don't know. I don't watch the show. Don't hate me. I don't watch any TV. Except true crime. 
lots and lots of true crime. Get in there. Sit like this guy. He's being a troublemaker. Get in there. Come on. It probably doesn't help that my bread is like super duper chunky. Like thick. Bad boys, you know. I'm going to turn this one over. Get most of the inner parts of the bread, you know. Because if you're getting the crust, you're probably not getting to the inside, if that makes any sense. Like this guy could probably really be turned over. There we go. And then I'll turn them back once I get them, you know, a little wet. I guess this is like an amplified French toast. Think about it. This is initially how you make French toast, right? Okay. All right. I do think I'm gonna be. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get a spatula because I think that might help me. Here's the one that has like wide. We want to get that good and you know, I might even let it sit for a minute and absorb some of the liquid, you know? Doesn't that make sense? I swear I've read that before. I think that one's good and sticky, apparently. I get a knife now to get it off because I want to save all the goodies. Because this looks like a big ball of frosting. Don't want to lose that either. Oh, this is working perfect, you guys. Yes. See how it's like, you can't see, but I think it's, the bottom layer, I feel like, is kind of giving way now that it's been absorbed in the liquid for a while. I say a while, it's been like three minutes. Um, but it's giving way to room for the top layer to kind of sink in the liquid more. Thank goodness. I envisioned messing it up because I would be like trying to fake adding some more sauce, custard, if you will. That's what I was worried about. And I'm just like, while this is not healthy by any means, it's healthier because if you remember, we did make our eggnog bread kind of on the healthier side also with the gluten free and then the powdered oh that was last week the week before that I was thinking we used powdered sugar last week we didn't that was the week before with the shortbread bars oh my gosh I cannot wait to get to Trader Joe's and buy some more cookie butter to make that again I just want to I just want to redeem myself I'm not gonna make them on camera again I'm just saying I want to redeem myself because the flavor was off awesome <laughs> just like that oh my gosh. now I will tell you I'm kind of trying to rede redeem bread pudding in general because my husband is kind of a naysayer of bread pudding he's had a couple you know in different establishments. I don't think anybody's ever made in bread pudding. I don't recall making bread pudding before. Um, but has never really liked it. It, it was a, like a textural thing. Like maybe it was either not cooked all the way or maybe the bread they used wasn't stale or dense like they say to use in, um, in this particular recipe. So I'm hoping that I can redeem. And thankfully he likes eggnog, so that's good. I might be passing some of these taste tests along to people I see in the near future. And I think I'm gonna just, I don't wanna overdo it or, you know, drop a bazillion Yeah, I think I'll save those crumbs and put them in my granola. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes while we talk about our daily inspirations. Um, 
I can get my phone to open. pushing the wrong thing. Well, can you tell I was not prepared? Usually I have. Okay, starting with today, January 18th. Plenty of people miss their share of happiness, not because they never found it, but because they didn't stop to enjoy it. William Feather. Yesterday, January 17th, the fellowship of true friends who can hear you out, share your joys, help carry your burdens and correctly counsel you is priceless. Ezra Taft Benson The 16th, live your life from the heart. Share from the heart and your story will touch and heal people's soul. Melody Beatty Share your similarities, celebrate your differences. M. Scott Peck That was the 15th. Okay. Truth is a deep kindness that teaches us to be content in our everyday life and share with the people the same happiness. Khalil Gibran. Gibran? Gibran. Sorry about that. Okay, the 13th is all who joy would win must share it. Happiness was born a twin. Lord Byron. A wonderful thing about true laughter is that it just destroys any kind of system of dividing people. John Cleese. I'm trying to think of what today is, the 18th. Okay. January 11th. Nothing is too wonderful to be true if it be consistent with the laws of nature. Michael Faraday. I think I read this one, but I'll read it again. January 10th. The planet is a vast and beautiful place, full of exciting and wonderful people. Ashlyn Gorse Cousteau. Yeah, I did read it. I remember reading it now. Okay. All right. Now, while we're sitting here letting our, our bread get all yummy, let's talk about keep on going. Okay. So... And I'm kind of trying to demonstrate that with my recipes a little bit, even when, not that this bread was a fail, absolutely was not. Tastes amazing. I had a whole piece. I wish I would have heated it up though, because I let it cool completely. So um, this bread was not a fail, um, but this is just a way to, to take something you already have and use it for something else or change it or make it better or if you're finding that something you tried didn't work out that doesn't mean the initial effort wasn't correct it just means that maybe somewhere along the way you took a mess missed up so think about your last positive thought about where you were in your process of your goal or your task or whatever and say and back yourself up a little bit and say where was I when I last felt confident about what I was doing and then let me erase or take that step back to that spot and start from there and go forward I'm not saying you're you're um, what is the word I'm not saying that you are retreating I'm not saying you are, uh, what you did failed and therefore you just might as well. What I'm saying to you is there's a positive moment you felt about this project or this task or this goal or whatever. And why not take yourself back to where you felt really good about it and then go on from there. And then maybe it was a, it was a choice between two separate things. Maybe you can go back to just there. And say, oh, you know, I did, I did this thing. Didn't work out so well. But guess what? I got this other thing. Let me give that a try. Then, then if that doesn't work, then where are you, right? Then maybe you have to, like, rewind, hit the rewind button and go, okay, this spot here, before I made any decisions, was solid. I like what I was thinking or I liked what I was doing. 
but I need to, maybe I just need to change up how I was doing it. Or maybe I need to find a different way to do it. Maybe the end result is good, but maybe how I got there wasn't. So it's all just a matter of working the last positive thought, is what I like to, to think of it as. That's why journaling sometimes helps, because you can go and go, oh, look at how, po how good I felt about where I was two weeks ago. Maybe it isn't something so detrimental that even if you have to go back a step, you're going to leap 10. So I'm not saying expect that. <laughs> Don't expect that, please. But think about it. Like, in all actuality, are you really that bad off? Maybe you learned something that you wanted to know anyway. And you can take that step back and go, Phew. I'm glad I didn't go that direction. Maybe it's a positive thing and we just aren't looking at it that way. So that's where my whole win or learn kind of uh, mentality came from. Like, okay, if I didn't do something right, I want to know what I did wrong. Don't just say, okay, that's not right and be on your way. Like, if I did something wrong, explain what it was. I'm willing to listen because I want to do better the next time. My motto has been, don't be sorry, be better. So if going forward, I want to be better, I cannot be sorry for where I came from. Is that any help whatsoever? <laughs> Am I just making up stuff as I go along? Probably. But the positive thing about it is it also gives you so many more directions to look. Like, if you're pretty determined to head where you want to go, are you going to walk there, bike there, run there, swim there, fly there, train there? If you want to be there bad enough, isn't like how you get there not always that important if the end result is something positive and rewarding and fulfilling and helps others and all that stuff so if I had to walk there it's obviously gonna take me a heck of a lot longer than if I ran swam bike skateboarded mopeded whatever you know you get the gist of what I'm trying to say so, depending on your method of transportation, you might be a walker. That's perfectly fine. You know where you're going. You see where you're headed. There's several different, you know, forks in your path, but overall, the end result is going to be the same. Just breathe. I have to keep telling myself this, so that's why I'm passing it on to you. I sit there going, why do I feel this? ultimate urge to just move, move, right? Like, get something done. What are you doing? What's taking you so long? When in actuality, is it taking you that long? I don't know. All right, guys. I think, I don't know. I still got a good amount of bread, liquid. I'm trying to maybe douse them. I really don't want any of the pieces of the, on the top to suffer because they're on the top. You know, the other thing that wasn't mentioned was, um, and I know these outer pieces are probably going to get more, uh, whether it was covered or not, right? Where's my recipe? Just says bake 40 to 45 minutes. Do you cover bread pudding? Can you cover bread pudding? Well, you know what? I'm going to put it in now this way because I think if I covered it in the beginning that it might take much longer to get to the, the bottom and get that cooked. Can you see the gears turning? All right. Well, I think I'm going to put her in. I think we'll take a break. I think we'll come back. And hopefully I'll be able to 
taste test some for you. I think I'm I'm thinking also if it's not too super sweet after I taste test that that I might add a little bit of uh, my cinnamon sugar mix, my cinnamon sugar mixture that I always have on hand, and maybe a few more pecans. I don't know. I just didn't want it to be too um, salty from the nuts because they're the ones I buy are roasted and salted. So, okay. So we're just gonna see how that goes. I was kind of hoping it was gonna absorb. Maybe I should do one more round with the caramel rice. Oh, and I already stuck my spatula in there. Okay. I want to. I don't know what I want to do. I didn't really want to get another thing dirty, but I also think I needed a cleaner one. It's actually not too bad. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's get this bad boy in there. Gotta make sure I don't close my microphone cord into the oven. All right, guys, I am setting the timer. I'm for sure thinking we're going to need to at least cook it to 40 minutes. All right, so I'm going to get cleaned up, take a break, chill out, and I will be back with you in a little bit. Have a coffee and meet me back here. 40 minutes. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey, we're only going for 36 minutes. I, I think we're almost done. Okay, what I did do was uh, 10 minutes before it was to be the 40 minutes done, I went in and I noticed there was still quite a bit of liquid. So I went and I picked the pan up and I moved the liquid around to try and get some of the more top pieces to get um, coated again. And then the other thing was I tented some aluminum foil on and I put it, and I reset the timer back to 10 minutes. And then came up here at the 10 minute mark, realized it was still a little jiggly, but I, I don't want to overdo it. I haven't checked it with a toothpick. I did add five minutes. So we're, uh, I have a minute and a half left of that fi five minute time period to um, just talk about life. <laughs> No, I, I looked at it. It's good. Um, I covered it because I was a little concerned about the some of the upper pieces being too hard. The other reason being I thought maybe it would steam it more so that it would hit some of the bottom pieces. Because I feel like those, if anything, are going to be the soggy part. And I don't want a soggy part. So then the ultimate would be to maybe bake it for another five minutes after this is done with it completely closed and hope for the best. Okay, so we got 42 seconds left. I'm gonna get a toothpick ready. Maybe if I can find them back here. I don't know if you're supposed to stick a toothpick in, but I feel like you would if it were that bread, I mean, I was constantly sticking it in to make sure that that was done, the bread we made it with, so I feel like you'd do the same thing for what I made with it. I, <laughs> I hate when I question myself like this. It irritates me. Okay. I'll tell you what, though. Ooh, this smells. Can I just say? Ooh, this smells. I mean, it's just jiggling. I don't know if that means anything. It's not runny, is what I'm saying. But I do see some wet pockets. I don't know if that's just... Yeah, I think I might do... 
I gotta keep in mind too that this could be pockets of frosting. Um, like I said, I don't want to overdo it, but it, it's also, I don't know if it's supposed to, but again, I don't want to overdo it like I did the shepherd bars. I hate that about myself. Um, I think I am. I'm going to split the difference and do like three minutes. With this, I need more securely wrapped around that. I did not forget it was hot, trust me. I just didn't think I was that close to touching it. It's the hotter part. I don't have the arm length. And if you're standing like this, yeah, I don't know. What's the best? I, could, I try to come from the side, but how do you... You need a shelf that swings out. Then you burn everyone. I don't know. I apparently have no answers. Alright. So, my goal going forward... And I'm going to state these goals every time I do an episode. I'm not going to do them weekly per se because I don't do an episode every week. But last week was to drink more water. I think I just add more pills. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think I kind of accomplished that. Um, still could do plenty more. Um, and then... The goal going forward is to make a steady schedule of even writing just, eh, I don't feel okay today, I just don't want to write anything, but I'm writing because I'm trying to train myself to do so. Um, and not sound like Yoda when I speak, because I always feel like I start saying the back part of a sentence first, and then I go, oh wait, I never said anything about what started this. And then it's just like, yeah, I don't know, is that a language? I think I talked about this before I went to the break about how it feels um, Yoda ease. Like, I don't know. But then I asked if it was Mandalorian. So, um, so let's, let's focus on a journal maybe. If you haven't started one yet, just try it. I mean, it's the beginning of the year, so you don't have a lot to like, just start from Janu January 2023. I gave, I don't even think I wrote down why I started the journal to begin with. I just started writing that, that day's feelings down. I could be wrong. I don't really go back and read the stuff I write. Do other people? Probably, because it would help you if that were the case, right? But, I don't know. I almost feel like I would be embarrassed by what I wrote because a lot of it would just not make sense. So I'm just worried it'd be gibberish. But it makes sense to me when I'm writing it out. But do I write like I speak with the last part of the sentence first and then go, oh crap, I forgot to write down what this whole sentence is about. You know how that goes, right? I forgot to set the timer. So that's even better. And then don't forget about mind over body over mind. And when I called it that, I guess I really wanted to change it. Cause it was, I think I put mind over matter. Or not mind over matter. But it was something to do with mind strengthens body. And frankly, they do the same job for each other. You really have to do some physical activity to keep your brain active. And in turn, that keeps your body active because your brain thinks, oh, we should be active. I just realized my dishwasher's on. <laughs> I hope it won't affect the sound. Okay. 
I think I'm going to put you on pause for another minute or so because I really want to finish here without going like too crazy time wise. All right. So I'll be back in a few minutes and hopefully... All right, guys, I know you're not going to believe this, but silly me, I finally figured out what I've been doing wrong because I just did it again. I hit stop recording instead of the pause because the cursor on my computer had moved and I didn't realize it until I had already <laughs> hit the button. So I'm trying to give you the end result now. It is actually finished. Um... But I felt it necessary to, to top it with cinnamon sugar. So um, I had already turned off the oven when I decided this little plan. So I just sprinkled it with it and put it in the still hot oven, hopefully. And um, yeah, so that's where we are. Now I have to edit the two pieces together. <laughs> Curse you. Let me tell you what. I know what happened because I threw my microphone when I took it off to take a break. I threw my microphone up on top of the keyboard and it skittered right across the mouse. And yeah. Alright. I've waited long enough. I must try. Alright. Oh, oh, it's so happy. But look at how beautiful she is. She's not jiggly um and she I, I don't think she's dried out i talk about can get it closer maybe more like that okay so the top pieces are sturdy i would say but that also means the bottom is done i hope all right i don't know where to go I want to get a little of the custard and a little bit of the bread without looking like I took a bite. Maybe a, maybe a nut. Maybe some of the frosting. Oh, I made a mess. Hmm. say I don't know do I let it set I probably need it to set a little bit longer because I don't want to cook it anymore but I think it's still a little too it's not soggy or mushy it's just I can't figure it out but it's definitely sturdy enough and it's got great flavor I was just worried about the texture initially I think once it um, cools, that's the other thing. She didn't really say anything about how to let it cool. So I'm in a quandary. Now you serve it with, um, you can serve it warm with ice cream or whipped cream or, oh my gosh. Other than that, I know I look like I'm I'm dumbfounded, but I'm kind of um, I'm kind of proud of how this turned out, and I don't I don't want to um, it's pretty delicious. Okay. I guess with that being said, that's a wrap. And I want you guys to have a good day. Go do great things. Be your best self. And please live your best blessed life. Thanks for watching.